A warm welcome to you all. Please come, sit, take my refreshments. I am here to offer you the finest selections of haunted and cursed objects. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Don't you enjoy the seats that I have provided for you? They are actually the first item that I have for sale. You see, these seats are quite special. They were part of a church back in 1892. The preacher of the Old West got some very unusual ideas about the second coming and the inevitable apocalypse. He began to take some of the words of the good book a little too seriously. He said, why, the rivers must flow with blood. And so, on a night when he was doing a reverie and had his participants sitting in these very chairs, he locked them one by one in the chairs and he drug them out to the nearby creek, and while he held aloft his King James, he slit the throat of one parishioner after another, and he called out for the rivers to flow with blood. <laughs> yeah. But do not worry, you are entirely safe. These chairs are activated by blood. So please make sure that you do not prick your finger or in any way stain them with blood. For if you do, they will instantly drain every drop from your body. If you have an experiment that you are working on that requires the exsanguination of a human, or if you wish to store the blood for a future time, there is a special incantation that can release it. Then these chairs are for you. I know some of my people here, some of you who required an invitation to come in, are especially interested in blood. So we'll begin the bidding at $50,000 for all 12 of these special chairs. Now, I don't want you to think that I am excluding you only to furniture. No, no, no. I have many other things to offer you. Take, for instance, this cigar box. Yes, this cigar box was owned by one of the first occultists in all of Ireland. It was said that he would puff upon these cigars while casting incantations, summoning devils to his property, on and on and on, until one night he had summoned a particularly devious devil. And the devil managed to conjure the tiniest puff of wind. And the ash from his cigar fell onto the summoning circle, erasing one of the key glyphs. Well, what do you think happened next? 
<laughs> they say in hell they use his soul as a cigar. Puff, puff, puff. But these cigar boxes have a unique property. You can place any cigar in it you wish, and it will become infested with the spirit of a minor but devious devil. And then you can offer it to anyone you so choose, and should they put it to the lips and begin to puff, it will be the same as inviting it into their soul, and it will wreak havoc with their flesh and their heart and tear their soul asunder. Cheap for the price of a single cigar. We'll start the bidding at $15,000, but I think the price on this one is going to, like the smoke, rise right up to the ceiling. But what do we have next? Oh, look at this casket. Isn't it delightful? Now, some of you, for many reasons, have been alive for many centuries. And some of you, I know, are students of the occult. And you will know that for many, many centuries, people have been terrified of being buried alive. Now, the truth is, People absolutely have been buried alive, but their suffering is sadly short-lived. The truth is there is only enough air in a coffin for minutes at best, and once the crushing six foot of earth comes down, often the cheaper caskets will crack and suffocate the people from within. So while there are many tales of people trapped for days, pounding and trying to get out, the truth is such a sad reality. But this little gym, this little gym was built for a man who was terrified of being buried alive. He see there is a little pulley system inside that would go up to the ground and ding ling 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 let someone know that he had been buried. But his wife, his wife was cruel and jealous of his fortune and grew tired of his constant attempts to extend his own life. So one night she fed him the perfect dose of cyanide paralyzing him, putting him in the box, and burying him alive. They say that she sat out at the graveyard, sipping her favorite tea, and listened all night to the ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-a-ling-a-ling. And they say if you go to that graveyard at midnight, you can still hear it ringing, still. But, but this casket is now imbued with a special artifact. If you wish, you can put any of your foes into it. Bury them. And as long as the bell is attached, they can not die. Leave them in for a day. Leave them in for a month. Leave them in for one hundred years and they will not die. Does that sound like the perfect revenge? I think we will begin the bidding at one hundred thousand dollars. Let's begin that now, but I want you 
to whet your appetite, because after this main event, we have one final, final auction. A certain haunted doll. Say hello, ladies and gentlemen, to Annabelle. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. Oh, did you hear that sound? It wasn't a casket of eternal torment. It was the notification bell. If you like Roleplay Riot, here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever a new video comes out. And who knows, it just might protect you from eternal damnation.